everyone. I'll ask everyone to stand for the opening karakia, please. All right, so welcome to um, the meeting this morning, everyone. We've got a nice full gallery. It's nice and cosy today in here. Now, this morning we do have um, an external recognition for council services, and it's uh, for our City Council Smart Cities team. So, Michael Healy and Grace Gleon, are you with us here this morning? Yes. Would you like to come to the table in your proud moment? And it's all of our proud moment, actually. And um, before we get into the no, before we get into the recognition, you've got a um, a, a video for us which I think would be really interesting for us to see so that we know what you've got the award for and, um, and what you're actually doing for the city. So the floor is yours, far away. The Christchurch City Council Smart Christchurch Program delivers innovative solutions that supports the council's vision and goals for the city. A key part of this is building collaborative partnerships that solve problems. In this case, after the devastating Port Hills fires, we started looking for ways to monitor environmental conditions in high-risk areas, with the goal of providing early warning of fire risk. Fire and Emergency New Zealand is interested to learn how technology like this can help reduce the incidence and consequence of fire in our community. An important part of this project has been the excellent collaboration between Christchurch City Council, Rainier Matariki Forests, Fire and Emergency New Zealand and the Spark IoT team. Working with Attentis, Spark IoT have delivered a solution to the council's use case. It is a network of five R10 series devices to Bottle Lake. Devices include 360 degree thermal imaging sensors with AI capabilities, ultra high definition video and still imaging. Weather inputs, pressure, humidity, wind speed, wind direction, rainfall and air quality, including pollen recognition. All the data is then transmitted in near real time via Spark's IoT network for analysis and assessment. Part of the project has been creating an online portal where residents can see what weather conditions are doing or what the air quality is like in the area. This will help people to make better informed decisions. For example, a person with allergies may want to avoid a day where there's a particularly high pollen count. Early detection and intelligence helps us mobilise our response resources as quickly as possible. It also provides time for communities to implement the emergency plan. We're really excited to be early adopters of this technology and the benefits it's going to bring to Christchurch communities. That's amazing. So that um, early fire detection sensor network project was named winner of the Datacom Award for Digital Local Government at the 2023 LGFA Taitauta Local Government Excellence Awards. So um, we're really excited about that. And there's that collaboration word again and um, environmental detection, I think that's got places that that can go further than this. So thank you very much and come forward and I'll give you your award. good to recognise the good stuff, I think, so that's, that's a great start to the meeting. So um, we move to apologies.